Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. Hope you like it and enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Hargeisa, Somalia is the capital and largest city of British Somalia. It is located in the Maruti Jeeks region of the Horn of Africa. It succeeded Berbera as the capital of the British Somaliland Protectorate in 1941. The city also served as the second capital of the Isaac Sultanate during the mid to late 19th century. Hargeisa was founded as a watering and trading stop between the coast and the interior and later became an Islamic Tariqa settlement under the leadership of Sheikh Matter and his mullahs. In 1960, the protectorate gained independence and united as scheduled days later with the trust territory of Somaliland, former Italian Somalia, to form the Somali Republic on July 1. Hargeisa is situated in a valley in the Galgadon, Ogo, Highlands, and sits at an elevation of 1,334 meters, 4,377 feet. Home to rock art from the Neolithic period, the city is also a commercial hub for precious stone cutting, construction, retail services and trading, among other activities. The town evolved in the latter half of the 1800s as a Kataria settlement established by Sheikh Matter, near a water stop used by nomadic stock herders on the way to the town of Harar. It proposes a possible derivation of the name Hargesa from the sobriquet Harar as Sajur, meaning Harar the little according to historian Norman Bennett, Matter named the settlement Hargesa, or Little Harar since he aspired for it to emulate the city of Harar as a center for Islamic teachings. Another etymological route for Hargesa's name derives from the town's connection to the skin's trade. Hargesa has been a watering and trading stop between the coast and the interior, and chief amongst the goods traded were the hide skins procured from the interior to be processed in the settlement. In this, in this etymological version, Hargesa is derived from Harjijis, which means place to sell hides and skins in Somalia. According to earliest written records Hargesa was founded as a watering and trading stop for passing nomads and caravans. Hargesa continued to grow with the arrival of businessmen from Bulahar and Berbera under the Gideonship of its founder Sheikh Matter Shurwa, also the founder of Hargesa Religious Commune and the modern iteration of the settlement. Matter Shurwa was born in Berbera and belonged to the Nut Ismail subdivision of. Matter arrived in Harar to study the Islamic sciences under the top ulama of Harar, which consisted of Harari and Somalia scholars. Sheikh Khalil, one of the ulama of Harar, advised Sheikh Matter to establish a Kataria Tariqa commune in present-day Hargeisa and spread the teachings he was taught, which lead Sheikh Matter and his companions to found the big commune, Jamai Wayne, of Little Harar, Hargeisa, in circa 1860. Somali pastoralists heavily follow rain and pastures this would change with the agricultural and stationary lifestyle Matter would introduce on the back of large sorghum plantations. This was to maintain self-sufficiency in Sheikh Matter, and the other mullahs would take care of the sick and elderly inhabitants of the growing settlement. Lastly, Sheikh Matter pushed towards a common religious identity rather than identifying solely by tribe. Stone houses and other structures would be built and Hargesa would develop into a large permanent settlement irrespective of the caravan trade that defined it in dec decades prior. H. Swain, a British soldier and explorer who traversed the Somali peninsula between the 1880-1890s wrote about Hargeisa in his journals. This town is built some 500 yards from the right bank of the Ali Nala and at an elevation of 30 or 40 feet above it. Round the place is a patch of jowari, sorghum, cultivation, two and a half miles long and a quarter of a mile broad. Quantities of livestock of all kinds graze on the low undulating hills for half a mile from the Aliadara Nala on either bank. Hargesa is situated on two important caravan routes, one from Ogadane and the other from Harar. There are good direct camel roads to Berbera and Bulhar. Supplies of rice and dates can sometimes be bought here in the trading season. Some 400 people are employed looking after the Jawari fields and may be seen sitting on platforms, shouting and throwing stones to scare birds from the crops. There is abundance of good water in the bed of the river, and a masonry well has been built, and is kept in order by an Arab from Aden. The town is full of blind and lame people, who are under the protection of Sheikh Matter and his mullahs. In 1888, after signing successive treaties with the then-ruling Somali sultans and chiefs, 
the British established a protectorate in the region referred to as British Somaliland with Berbera becoming the capital. The British garrisoned the protectorate from Aden in present-day Yemen and administered it from their Br British India until 1898. British Somaliland was then administered by the Foreign Office until 1905 and afterwards by the Colonial Office. The capital was moved from Berbera to Hargeisa, and the city was granted capital status in 1941. During the East African Campaign, the Protectorate was invaded by Italy in August 1940, but recaptured by the British in March 1941. In 1945 the British administration had grown weary of the influence Wadads had wielded in the Protectorate and moved to arrest several in Hargeisa. They had been deemed nuisances to implementing modern education and agricultural reforms in Somaliland. Following their arrests on June 4, a mob formed and temporarily freed the imprisoned Wadads who were recaptured the next day. Religious leaders motivated the city's inhabitants, and a crowd of several thousand rioters marched on the Hargeisa district headquarters determined to free the imprisoned Wadads. They were fired upon by the district commissioner's troops with one dying and dozens imprisoned for trying to free the sheikhs. The protectorate gained its independence on June 26, 1960 as the state of Somaliland, before uniting as planned days later with the trust territory of Somaliland, the former Italian Somaliland, to form the Somali Republic. 1960-1991 In the post-independence period, Hargeisa was administered as the capital of the Wokoyi Galbid province of Somalia. Numerous new development projects were subsequently launched in the city by the Somali government. Among these initiatives was the creation of the Hargeisa Provincial Museum. It was the first museum to be established in Somalia since independence in 1960. The Hargeisa International Airport was also renovated and modernized, with the ultimate aim of equipping the facility to accommodate larger aircraft and offer more flight destinations. Hargeisa, Somalia, remarkably safe. Much of the construction in Hargeisa pitching in as Somaliland has had to go it alone. This can-do attitude against the odds gives the city and its inhabitants much of their animated charm and explains why locals are so pleased to meet unexpected foreign visitors. The people are extremely welcoming, with a vibrancy and optimism about the state functioning well enough to allow people do their business, Rolat said. Somalilanders are not shy walking down Hargeisa's streets visitors will likely encounter numerous questions about where they are from. Queries are often followed by friendly entreaties not to forget that they are in the one and only Somaliland and to tell others about it. Hargeisa is remarkably safe for foreigners, in spite of all the negative associations with Somalia. Visitors can sit at ease beside a busy street drinking a cup of Somali tea. That's not to say there aren't problems. With the international community refusing to recognize Somaliland's independence, its economy remains cut off from large-scale international assistance and global financial systems. Poverty is widespread and swathes of young men lounging on Hargeisa's streets testify to chronic unemployment rates of up to 75 percent. Meanwhile, concerns are being voiced about stricter Islamic customs increasingly influencing society. For now though, tourists taking their government's travel advisories with a pinch of salt can visit Hargeisa in relative safety. The city also serves as a good base from where to take in Somaliland's other attractions, including some of the world's oldest rock art, found in the Las Gil Caves 50 kilometers from the city. By the end of a trip to Hargeisa, the visitor is left in little doubt, this is a city determined to stake its claim on the world map. Thanks for watching please subscribe my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more history.